Hi, my name's Ross Stiles and this is Swiss and this is Treble and what I'm going to show you today is how to make a mix of lorikeet dry mix, wet mix, but it's dry. Um, I've already started it. What we have here in this container at the moment is about 10 cups of ground rice that I've ground with a muley and about half a packet of wheat bix which I've also ground up with the muley. And I'm just about to finish doing the last bit of the wheat bix so I wanted to put this on now so that I could show you how to do that. Different brands have different names but what this is is a small mixer with a sharp blade. Um, it doesn't take very much. If I was going to do this industrially I'd probably use a lot more bigger machine and I'd also be starting to look at getting dried fruit that's really dry so I could grind that up. But for now this works perfectly and this is how we do it. Just go. fingers off if that lid's not on it won't work and that's really fine powder oh it's going all over the floor but there you go so if you can see that uh, well you might not be able to see it but you can see it falling so that's what it's like a couple of good bags in here now what I do for my rainbow lorikeets because Outside, I have released, well, I released, we released 12 of them. We have five of them that come back every day and another two that come back most of the time. That's fine, but in the lounge room, I have another two lorikeets, a musk lorikeet and a rainbow lorikeet that can't get outside. And at the moment, there's not an awful lot of flowers around because it's just beginning to be summer. We've just had a heat wave. This here, I'll see if I can show you better. Here, there we go. This here is pollen. It's not really that dear, considering what, how good it is for them. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just put about a handful, about that much, into the muley, and I'll mix that in as well, so that I know that my birds are getting something natural that they ought to be able to get into the wild, but they can't get. So I'll just put that much in here. Now the sweetener, the sweetener that I usually use is fructose, and I actually haven't got any. So I'm not going to put sweetener in today, but normally what I'd do is put about, the pack is about that high, about that wide of fructose, and they say it's not very good for humans because it's direct sugar that goes directly into our bloodstream, and I think they're probably right, but for the birds it's perfect because that's exactly what they get out in the wild when they're eating fruit and sticking their little tongues into all the sweet flowers. So I'm going to put that in, and what I do is I rummage around my cupboards and I see whatever it is that I've got as leftover grains that might be good for the birds. And here I've got this Nutri-Blend pellets, um, all sorts of variety of pellets, especially in different countries. None of my birds like this. I've been putting this in for, it's a big packet, I've been putting it in for the last three months. None of them like it. So, um, and I think that's probably because they weren't brought up on it because it's good stuff. I've eaten one myself. I won't give my birds anything, and this has got meat in it, that I won't taste first to see what it's like. But when it comes to this little pigeon here, she's a magpie mix and I'm a vegetarian, and it tastes, it smells really, really disgusting. So I don't worry about that. I decided that. that one is for the birds. All right, so I'll mix this in as, as well. There's no point keeping it. And as you can see, Swissy absolutely loves to help. I may have sat back to your feet, but you can see, you can see. Because it's the first time I've had her and the pigeon on my shoulder at the same time. And um, 
because we've been there since she was about four years old and we've had her since she was only a couple of weeks old. So I'm her mum as far as she's concerned and she has never grown up. She doesn't like mixing with the other birds, we've got lorikeets in there. Occasionally she'll get on the same tree as them, I've got a tree, a um, grouch stuck in concrete that I'll put little flowers and things and fruit on for them. And it's quite nice, I gather, for her to go and eat some of those flowers, but not to mix it up with the birds. I do wonder sometimes whether Swiss even does believe that she is a bird. So what I'm doing here, I'll try not to put my back to you, is this all came out as a powder. This is it, what it was here. There you can see that. Um, you can even see the different colours in it. So what I'm doing now is I'm mixing all this in together. So this has given me at least as much as in the... I use Harmony Mix. It's the cheapest good quality food that we can get here. Um, we feed the three inside lorikeets and the five outside lorikeets and the other couple that come plus there would have to be at least four red wattle birds that come to eat and half a dozen honey eaters, um, New Holland honey eaters so it's definitely the birdhouse and we need to have a cheap source of food for them so what we use here is Harmony um, I honestly believe that Wambaroo is better than Harmony both made by the same company Wombaroo smells and tastes different, but it's a lot more expensive. When I was in Fauna Rescue, we used to get it at a discount price, but I stopped being in Fauna Rescue because you're not meant to cuddle your babies in Fauna Rescue, and I can't help but cuddle my babies, because baby birds, just like baby anything else, need to have a certain amount of love and cuddles. And... I actually didn't realise that pigeons do need that until I've got this baby pigeon here who as soon as she could start to walk around the very first thing she did was start to climb onto, under my shoulder all the time up behind my neck so and it's very warm here as you can see I'm wearing a t-shirt so it's not that she needs the warmth she must need the security and the comfort so what I'm doing here oh sorry so was is I'm just mixing this in. This is my really, really big tub. It's very deep. It's mouse proof, which is really important because when you have birds, you have mice. So, the thing I do is I make sure that every single container that I have is mouse proof. I have a tin bin to put all of the bird food in that's not in a plastic container. Now, this is ground grass, ground wheat mix bit of pollen. I usually put oats in it, so I'm going to have a look now and see if I've got any oats in the cupboard. But with all these grains being ground, you can't just give them to your birds, your lorikeets, without actually making sure that all the food's cooked. Um, it's a bit of a mess in here because I've just been buying and buying and buying while things have been on special. And we have croutons, but so I won't actually be finished making this mix until I've got some oats and until I've got some fruit toast and then I'll mix it all in together but I'll cook it each night so I use, excuse me here, I use these containers here. What I do is I put in one and a half cups of the dry mix. I fill it up to about here with boiling water. I microwave it, I'm pointing with the microwave over there. I microwave it for three minutes and then I let it stand overnight. In the morning we will microwave it again and could probably cook it for longer. If you don't have a microwave, you'd have to stir it and cook it like porridge. And the birds have never been sick on it. They're all very well and very healthy. I've raised a few birds, lorikeets on it, and that's what they get every day in the mix. But what I do then, we give them about half of the mix, and then we add that much fruit. Now, I'm very lucky I have a local fruit and vegetable store that gives me cast-offs and leftovers, so I will... Um, 
either juice if it's all um, getting older or else I'll cut up say four apples and a couple of pears mix it in here if I haven't got anything else I use bananas um, I have some strawberry topping in there that's completely natural no food colouring, no flavouring, no additives get your bum out of there please Lizzie and that works really well too but then I add more water if I have an urgent situation where I need to leave the house in a hurry I would mix up a couple of jugs full of honey water so I'll put um, let me see if I've got the jug available, no I don't. So say about this much and about two dessert spoons full of honey and I'll mix that in it because the birds outside are already getting flour and pollen so they need a lot of fluid and the birds inside have got fruit that are put on the fruit tree as well. So they don't need it, it doesn't matter if it's raining for them but it's a bit important that it's not raining outside, especially here we have um, days that are say 35 to 40 for the next three months and we need to make sure that there's enough liquid in there so that it just doesn't become a dry biscuit cup crust at the bottom, which has happened a couple of times when it's been too granny. So thank you very much for watching, and I will be making more videos to show you how to make different food for birds. And I'll see you next time. Rescue, rainbowrescue.com.